Hi everyone. Before starting the lesson, I would like to ask some questions from you. Which planet looks like a blue and white marble to the space? Which is the third planet from the sun in our solar system? What's the only astronomical object known to accommodate life? I hope you have got the answer now. Exactly. The answer is the earth. So let us know some amazing facts about our planet earth. People in ancient times like in 1800s thought that the earth was flat and it was supported on the backs of four elephants themselves resting on the back of a turtle. This myth occurred in Hindu, Chinese and indigenous American mythology. Early Egyptians thought that the earth was a disk floating in the ocean. They believed sun was orbiting around the earth. And do you believe there are a lot of people who still believe the earth is flat? They have got influenced by their religious beliefs. Then by 5th century BC, the Greek philosophers suggested the earth is a sphere. By 4th century BC, the Greek philosopher Aristotle suggested the geocentric model of the earth. Then they believed the earth is in the center of the solar system and other planets and the sun are orbiting around it. Do you like to know about the formation of the earth? Let us see. For the easiness of studying, scientists have divided the formations into many periods or eons. Here are the earliest ones. The formation of the earth began 4.5 billion years ago. That is called Hadean period. In Archean period, first ocean and the tectonic activities began. You may wonder what tectonic activities are. Don't worry, we are coming to that later. The first life as a single-celled microorganism appeared during this time. During Proterozoic period, oxygen was accumulated in the atmosphere. So multicellular life began on the earth. From that period to the moment now, the earth is still changing little by little. Do you know the position of the earth in the solar system? Yes, it's in the third position from the sun. So that the earth is getting favorable temperature for organisms. Planets which are far away from the sun are very cold. And planets very closer to the sun like Mercury and Venus are too hot for organisms to live. So earth is in a position where favorable amount of heat can be gained. Do you know how large the Earth is? We will compare with the other planets and the Sun. I hope now we are very clear with the size of the earth compared to the others. Let's see the inner structure of the earth. If the earth is cut into hemispheres like this, you will observe four main parts. The outermost layer and the thinnest layer is called the crust. Underneath the crust lies the mantle. Core of the earth is divided as outer core and inner core. The core is the thickest and the hottest part of the earth. Its temperature is more than 5000 Celsius. What is plate tectonics? 
Plate tectonics is the theory that Earth's outer shell or the crust is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. This was proposed by the great researcher Alfred Wegener. Have you ever played jigsaw puzzles? Tectonic plates are like that too. They are irregularly divided parts of the crust. You can see the major tectonic plates of the earth here. Most of the plate boundaries or margins are at the bottom of the sea. Some are located on land too. These tectonic plates move relatively to each other. There are three main ways that tectonic plates move. In divergent movement, the two plates move apart from each other. Gulfs could be created by this movement. In convergent movement, one plate moves upward by pressing down the other. Mountains have been created this way. In transform movement, the two plates slide past each other. You may have heard a lot about earthquakes. Earthquakes take place due to these tectonic activities. Do you know the name used for the scientists who study about the earth? Certainly, we call them geologists. They obtain the information about the earthquakes and about the inner part of the earth by seismometers. They do researches about volcanic eruptions and many more. So far, we got to know a lot about our magnificent earth. There's huge ecological diversity on earth. And there's no other planet like earth. The earth belongs to all the organisms living on it. Some people have forgotten this and they try to misuse the natural gifts of the earth. As responsible citizen, we should protect our beautiful earth not only for us but for our future generation too. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Let's meet again with another lesson on Splendid Science Club. Have a good time.